Hi, my name's John Brogdon. When I was 36 years old, I was very happily married. We had one small child. I was the leader of the opposition in New South Wales and I was on the cusp of fulfilling my personal and I guess professional ambition of becoming the Premier of New South Wales. It all fell to pieces for me and I found myself in a situation I'd never ever thought I'd find myself in and that is where I wanted to take my own life, I wanted to end my own life and indeed I got to the point where not simply the only thing to do but I convinced myself the best thing to do was to take my own life. I thank God every day that seven years later I'm alive and that I didn't complete my suicide. But I've been at the lowest point you can get to in your life and I've been there from a very publicly successful position to one of great desperation. There are some telltale signs of depression for many people. You gain a lot of weight, you lose a lot of weight. You can't sleep, you can't get out of bed. These sorts of extremes in your life, uh, your behaviour begins to change, maybe only subtly in the early stages, but you become a slightly different person. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just the illness. And for most people, reaching out, whether it's to Lifeline or to your doctor and asking for help, you'll find that helps there. In my case, I managed that uh, up and down behaviour, mostly down, with medication and with ongoing counselling, and it works very well for me. And the real message I want to send is there's absolutely nothing to be ashamed about. You wouldn't be ashamed if you had cancer, so why be ashamed if you have depression or a mental illness? The days are gone where we have to be ashamed about that, and the days are gone where nobody wanted to help. People want to help. People want you to get better, and people will help you get better.